Okay, this video is going to show you how to do a backup and restore in Spire. So on the server, you want to go into the server tray icon. It brings up the company list. You'll see we've got a, a few companies with a backup schedule on them already. And if I want to add one, to a backup, we just double click on it. Choose when I want to back it up. So interval will be daily. Here I can pick the time of day that I want it to happen and uh, when to start. So the next backup may be tonight. And how many backups that I want to keep? Uh, what will happen is it'll, it'll back up for six days in this case. And then when one is six days old, it'll drop the oldest one off uh, out of the uh, folder. And then you click OK. Put in the database level password. That's the Postgres database level. Authorize that and it gets added to the list. To restore a database, you simply click plus, add existing company, browse to where the backup is that you want to restore, and we'll take this top one here, give it a database name, and it cannot have the same name as one that's already on this list. So I've got the one I'm restoring is this Inspire, so I will just call this Inspire you know, maybe it's a year-end restore or something, 2015, and click OK. Give the database level password again, and then it gets added. Reindexes it. And then the problem here can happen now is that on the company list, if I start up Spire now and log in, I will see this twice, and I don't see this name, the database name itself. So you may want to rename it. So you can double click on it and you can rename any company. So I can call this Fire Health Sys YE2015. And then on the login, I don't need the password again. On the login, when you log into Spire, you will see that name instead of uh, the one that was on there originally. Uh, you also, of course, want to uh, take that folder where you've got your backups and you know, copy these out onto an external device or a cloud device or something like that. Uh, because if you just leave them in this spot here, it is residing on the same drive as the Spire data, the original Spire data. So this should be backed up externally, um, preferably somewhere off-site. 